Hi, this is Andrew for Geek News Central, and this evening we're going to look, take a look at the Tadoo Smart Radiator Thermostat. Now this is an extension to an existing Tadoo system, but what it does is replace the thermostatic uh, radiator valve uh, on one of your radiators with one of these uh, smart valves. And it basically extends your Tadoo setup so that you can control the temperature of a room with the radiator um, and really just make your life a bit more comfortable. Uh, and you can do all the fancy things that Tadoo offers, like turning the radiator off when you're out of the house, um, or setting the target temperature, uh, depending on the time of day and things like that. So it's a nice little extension onto the Tadoo system. In terms of price, um, you look to try and pay about £50. The, the RRP is a little bit higher, but you do quite often get these on sale. And there is also a slightly cheaper version of it, a more basic version, but it follows the same principles. So really, once you've seen this uh, installed, you'd be able to either use this model or, as I say, the slightly cheaper uh, basic version, which I think, if I recall, really just doesn't have um, a little dis temperature display on the, the valve headset. So what we'll do is we'll get it un un unpacked uh, and then we'll look at the various adapters it's got and then go through getting it set up on your, uh, on your radiator. It's very straightforward, don't need a plumber or anything like that to do this, and there's really no danger of any water leakage. So we'll get this unpacked and see how, then we'll take it from there. We have the Tadoo Smart Radiator thermostat here, so let's get this open. So inside the box here we have the, effectively what's the replacement for the thermostatic valve, and then we have a number of adapters here. Now, as I said, this is really the thermostatic valve replacement bit, and you've got all well, this bit just comes off. Um, it just it just fits in, and what you'll see here is you've got the batteries hiding under this bit here. You've got the small bits or small pin that moves in and out to control the flow of water in and out of the radiator, and we'll see a bit more about that in a minute. Uh, and then on here we've got the the bit that kind of attaches directly onto the radiator valve. And as I said in the introduction, there's no plumbing required. This is purely a, a physical part of the radiator. Uh, there's, there's no danger of leakage or anything like that. Um, but again, what you have is this pin moving in and out through the, this hole here to stop and start the water flow. Although you can't see it, there is a, somewhere on here, um, no, you definitely can't see it, there is a kind of display that shows you the temperature that the radiator is set at and the temperature in the room um, and what you've also got is again because of this tape here which I'm just going to take off this part rotates I don't know if you can hear it clicking away uh, but that part there rotates and that's how you if you want to you can manually set the target temperature for the valve now in this bag here, let me just put that over there, oh, I'll stop it rolling away. This bag here has a number of adapters. So there's two different types of adapter in here once it gets the bag open. So there are these kind of collar adapters which really are intended to replace, or not replace rather, connect on here and then connect onto the radiator valve here. So if when you try and screw this this, this sort of collar onto the radiator valve, it doesn't fit, you'll need to look for some of these adapters. And on, I'm pretty sure on my radiators, I have to use this particular adapter. So um, this bit here goes, let's get around the right way. Yeah, that bit screws onto, onto that. And then this bit here screws onto my radiator. And you can also see that this is where the second style of adapter comes into play. It's these uh, these pins. You can kind of see, I think there's four of them, four different length of pins. But what you have to do is that once you put some of these collars on, you have to extend the range of this, this black pin here. So what happens is that you get one of these, you try and it's, there's a slight, uh, there's a slight chamfer on it. So sometimes with my fat fingers, it can be a bit of a, a bit tricky to get it in, but that's it. So now that, bit here moves in and out and the, the pin here really just kind of extends the range of the of the pin over there 
so that it fits more radiator types or more radiator valves. So uh, to do do try to um, uh, provide you with, with as much equipment as you can to get going out of the box and I think possibly there might be a few extra ones that you can order if you've got a very specific type of, of radiator valve but uh, on the whole uh, you know I've, I've done this on a couple of radiators now and uh, and I haven't really had any issues. Uh, sometimes it takes a, a bit of uh, toing and froing to, to get exactly the right pin but the setup actually helps you with that. And, and just going into that there's no real instructions in the box and even in the bottom there's there's just some fairly fairly basic stuff and really to do may take advantage of their to do app to actually help step you through um, what needs to be done to take off your old thermostatic valve and put the new one on so look that's it for now what we'll do next is we'll actually run through uh, setting up a valve uh, and it is, as I say it is relatively straightforward and there's no plumbing plumbing required okay so uh, back in a minute before we get started let's take a quick look at our before and after this is a as you can see it's a Meissen thermostatic valve uh, there's no real surprises here you can kind of see that this is the bit that we turn this is where the collar connects up to the radiator and you can kind of see how you can set the temperature to be but it's it's kind of relative you know you've you've got one two three four five and five being the red dot so that's uh so that's how it would look on your current radiator and we want to put the Tadu thermostatic uh, controller on instead let's take a look at what it's going to look like this is an installed Tadu valve so you can kind of see if i turn this bit here you can kind of see it setting and showing temperature so the the, when it's the home that's the temperature that it's set to and then if I want to either make it hotter or colder I can turn that and you can kind of see the digital display changing on it. As I mentioned in the early part this feature is on the kind of more expensive valve on the cheaper valves I don't think you actually get that little display. What we can also see here is the kind of adapter that I have to use to mate the Tadu valve to the radiators valve. But as I said, it doesn't involve any plumbing or anything like this, it's just a case of unscrewing these bits and then screwing them back on again. So it's all very straightforward. I think we've got everything ready now so that we can go ahead and install the Tadu Smart Thermostatic Valve in place of the existing valve. Now one tip before we get started really is to probably make sure that your heating's off. The way the valves work tends to be that when the valve moves out, the radiator comes on. So if you're not careful, things get hot very quickly. Now it's going to be a wee bit tricky just because we're trying to manage the app, the valve, the camera and the tripod. So uh, just bear with us if things go wrong. As you can see here we've got the selection of the adapters. As I mentioned in the early bit we're kind of trying to get that bit to go on there. Sometimes needs an adapter and I already know that it's, uh, it's this particular adapter. Obviously you're, for you, uh, you need to perhaps try a few of them until you get exactly the adapter that you need. So I'm just going to put that on one side there. Now we're also going to need these, some of these pins, again because I've done this before, I know it's going to be, I think it's the, the second longest, which I think is this one, and again it'll be a bit of trial and error. But the Tadu system's reasonably good at telling you what's going wrong. So let's just put these to one side and then get moving. So we're going to, as you can kind of see down here, add a device at the bottom, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, and what we can first do is that we can scan the QR code now it's going to be a bit tricky to because I have to hold the tablet at the same time but trust me you just pick it up and get it to, to scan that bit and it's usually pretty straightforward. Okay so managed to find the, the device using the camera so let's register the device. Okay, and then it's showing us what to do now. So we're going to take this bit off the bottom. So Alexa's already added it. Gets a bit enthusiastic there. Okay, continue. Remove the blue battery strip. Pull that out. Okay, I'm going to continue. Okay, and now we have to press the little pairing button in there. Now, sometimes I find you can just use one of these little sticks. It says use a, it says use a ballpoint pen, but I find you can just use the little stick. 
There we go. Now you probably didn't hear that, it vibrated. But what you should be able to now see is the animation on the screen here. Okay, now that kind of tells us that it's hopefully going to pair up nicely. Yep, it's connected there. Everything's going very straightforwardly. And it very briefly told us that the temperature there was 20 degrees, which is what I'd expect. So let's continue. Okay, now we can review step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna take this off. Um, it tells you a bit there, but usually this comes off my mouse. It, well, it came off very easily there. Usually I'd expect these to be finger tight. There's no real need to have it screwed on tightly. You're not making a water seal or anything like that. And when that comes off, you should be able to see now. See if I can zoom in on the video here. Okay, there it is there. And what you can just see is that pin there. And that's the pin that if I push in and out, controls the flow of the hot water through the, um, through the radiator. When it's in, there is no water. When it's out, the water flows. Okay. So if I just come back out again, we can hopefully see, we're gonna step through this, so take that off. Okay, and then we've got to put this, uh, now it wants to put this straight onto the valve, but I know that's not gonna work, and really what we need to do is actually put this on over, let's get this around the right way. Yeah, so this bit here goes on like that. Yeah, just like that. But what I also know is that I need one of the little, what I also know is I need one of these little adapters. As I said, I think it's the second largest, I think it's this one here. So I have to slightly footerily, oops, let's say it is slightly footerily. You can kind of see there's a bit of a, a shim or on there. So let's just get that and I have to just kind of Nope. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. Let's see if I can just squeeze that in there. There we go. So I managed to get it in, so you can kind of see it's in now. And now, um, now we're very much in the position to screw this onto here. Let's just if I zoom in a bit there. Okay, so I'm just gonna just kind of twirl it around until it catches. So that's it caught. Now, as I say, the, the, well, it's, it's now on, and it's kind of just finger tight, doesn't to be, to be very tight at all. And what I'm now gonna do is put this onto here. Now, you probably will want to adjust this a wee bit just so that you can kind of see the, uh, when, it, when when I put the valve, sorry, when I put the actual proper valve one on top, you want to be able to have it at the right angle so that you can see the temperature and things like that on. So we're pretty much pretty much there now. So let's uh, again just zoom back out so we can see what's going on. So we've done all of those bits. So let's continue. So um, yeah, so as I say, it's kind of saying so that the little marker needs to be at the top here so that you're going to be able to see what's going on. Now I'm just taking some of the stuff off the valve. Okay, and continue. Okay, so what I want to do now do is mate this up with the um, with the valve. I'm going to again zoom in on this a wee bit so that you can see what's going on. I have to take this off a wee bit. Can never remember which way it goes. Right, that's it. So I've, I've turned it and it's now on. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can hear it, it's whining away as it tests the system. So I think that worked successfully first time. Um, okay, and it does it, what it's called, a little calibration. Now, if there was a problem, it would come up with a little error there and you probably have to choose a different, a different pin. But, oops. 
So it's calibrating, as I say, it's done that. It's calibrated successful, continued, and that's it. We're finished. We're all basically done. So we'll say that it was very easy to install. Okay, well, I'm not going to go through this, but let's just skip my close. Okay, so I want to actually, it comes up here as it kind of creates a room for itself. Really what I want to do is change this so that it is part of the hallway. And I'm going to select that. Sign this here. Yep, I'm happy enough because I don't need room seven. And what I can also change is the orientation here. So at the moment it says that it's vertical. I'm going to put that on as horizontal and you probably see something flash over there. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so now we've got it right, hallway and horizontal. So it will hopefully work in parallel with the existing thermostat in this hallway. So let's just go back to our rooms and devices. There it is. There's the two of them there, uh, the smart, the smart uh, thermostats on the wall behind me. And, and to be honest, that's really very much it. I mean, you, uh, there's nothing more to say really about the, the installation process. It is really that straightforward. And if you just follow what goes along in the Tadoo app, you should have every success. This is Andrew for Geek News Central with the Tadoo Smart Radiator Thermostat. Thanks very much.